What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is another episode of playing expanded tournaments on the challenge uh, thingy. So, yeah, let's go. Uh, today we're playing Hisuian Zark V Star. A very strong card in the expanded format. We haven't really seen it done too well in the standard format. I think it won one tournament, but not too much. But it expanded. If you don't know, you have two cards. Does 50 damage for each of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Phantom Star, during the turn, you may discard your hand and draw seven, right? That's pretty good. But in Expanded, you can have Skyco, which lets you have up to eight bench Pokemon. So, with eight plus an active, that's nine Pokemon. They all have a damage counter on it. That's 450 damage. So, the damage that Zork's V-Star could do, and that's what we're going to try to do today. There's nothing else special about it. It's just 4-4 four, four Zork, and then really good consistency cards. You got Oral Guru to switch the top card of your deck. Uh, with a card in your hand, Crobat draw the tab six. Dedini discard your hand, draw six. And then Gengar, the main bread and butter. Once you turn this is on your it's in your discard pile, you may put it on your bench. If you do put three damage counters on this Pokemon. And of course you can do this mini Gengar in the discard pile. So if you have four and you have a sky field, go crazy, have some fun. Uh that's all the Pokemon you're playing, because that's all you really need. Uh four compressor, uh search for three cards and discard them. Of course, finding your Gengar is you know most important. Computer search, discard two cards. So you take any card put in your hand. Uh, damage pump. Move two damage counters from one of your Pokemon to your other Pokemon any way you like. So once you get the Gengar out, you can use damage pump, move that around, and then you have, you know, three Pokemon that are damaged, which is 150. You do this again, you're doing 300, and this stuff keeps stacking. Two evolution instants to find those Hisu and Zark V stars. Four quick ball, four quick ball for maximum consistency. One special charge, get two special charges back in your deck. Four VS Seeker to use for the cards. For Skyfield, to have to up, up to eight bench. There's one Ace Roller, put one Pokemon that has any damage counters on it, and all cards attached to it in your hand. So they don't knock out Hughes or V Star. You can put it back in your hand with uh, Ace Roller. They have two Boss Order, bring a Pokemon Bench the active. I think these should be Guzma. I think they should be Guzma, but we're not going to change the list. This is WC the Shooters list. Uh, one course. We're going to have a lot of bench Pokemon, so we're going to draw a bunch of cards. Marnie for Disruption. Uh, one in. Both players shove the hand deck, draws card for each price card remaining. And one research, discard your hand, draw seven. We have two air balloon for free retreat. We have four double tumor energy and four double color synergies with eight outs to hit these. Uh, now, WCC Shooter did lose to two uh, Shadow Rock Calyx V Max. Now, I think one thing that you could do to help with this matchup is play good old Ranger because uh, <clears throat> Shadow Rider V has an attack that makes it you can't attach special energies, and that kind of just beats you there. So I think if you play one uh, Ranger, you're good to go. But we're not going to change the list. We're going to play just like it is. There's no, we're not going to change money's list. Um, but besides that, uh, yeah. Uh, besides that, everything's good to go. We're going to have some fun. Uh, we did leave. Don't, don't, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't pretend like you don't know what that is. Pretend like you don't know what that is. But like all we've, like all the past couple days, we're going to wait, play a tournament, play three rounds. If we make it to the third round, we're good to go. If not, well, it happens what happens. Uh, See, so we'll get back here in a second when we're in uh, we're in the game. Alrighty, so gets round one play gets Pit Lash. That was a pretty quick introduction. Hopefully, I mean, I feel like it was pretty easy to break down. It's just this is a very consistent deck. You just try to play very consistent cards. So nothing else too much outside of that. So of course we have the potential of just losing game one right now because our hand is it is something. Okay. Well, I don't think we'll lose in turn one. I don't think we'll lose turn one. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, yep. All righty. So we'll do this. Uh, we have nobody to get Pokemon back. I think I'm going to do this. Grab ourselves Crobat, draw to five. Yo, we did find another. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 
Sure. <laughs> yep. Was that heal? Yep, sure does. Let's put the damage pump, pump it off our deck. Uh, let's boss order up the Tornadus. I'm going to get another Gingar, just in case they use Pushdown. Okie dokie. <laughs> we just need to tell the guy he's doing V-Star and then we're okay. So it's like an objective. Because this doesn't do a lot of damage. There we go. So they can knock out here. Of course, we set up Hazor and Zork V no matter what. So they got out of five. Set up Hazor V on our turn. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Well, I don't know if we're good, good. We are something. We're at the discard our hand and draw seven. We have three of those down. All right, so we can do this for another one. We get more gingers out. Yep. 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 Then we'll damage pump. Oh. Uh, one here, one here. Attach a double turbo. And we'll sing for a knockout. <laughs> okay, this is Sir and Zark V. And quick ball. I don't think any of the cards matter because we should just win the game now. Fine, man. I mean, we could maybe do 450 next turn. Put up a fan club. We're going to boss order if they put up a GX down. So, all right, it was a little rough, a little scary at first, but we we, we got back Gingar and Espeon V. Huh. Am I more scared of the Espeon or the Gingar? Ooh, we're gonna confuse me. So luckily we can retreat. I'm more concerned about the active right now, to be honest with you. I'm also best charge to get back two of these. I'm gonna ultra away the this. We'll do these two. And then we will order and grow the boss on top of the deck. So we can draw to it next turn. Plus, hopefully we hit something. Damage pump. Uh, we don't care about that. So we take them course for the knockout. Should be doing 380. 400 minus 20 because of DTE. And there's a course for next turn. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to go to Mega Gengar EX. I don't know the significance of Mega Gengar. It's been a while since I've seen Mega Gengar. But nope, just night attack. And we'll do 430 damage. Seems pretty good. All right, so we won game one. That's good. Got past the game one curse from yesterday. So let's see what we're playing against. Any names we know? Any names we know? Don't talk to me. Do we, we at least lose to the guy that won? No, he lost to Dave Ketchum. No, all my guys lost. The guy I lost to lost. And then he, oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, they let me down. All right, so he's playing against Local Maple or Flippo PL. Cool, we'll see you in a second. All right, so we're against Local Maple next. Let's go, guys. Did you ever play Maple Story? Did you ever play Maple Story? Did you? Did you? That was a pretty fun game. I never played it, but my brother played it. <gasps> Does it hello last round? I'm like, I did. Oh, I'm terrible. Oh, let's go first. Busted. Let's go. All right. So 
We have an interesting hand. <gasps> ho oh. Let's go, dude. Ho oh EX, dude. Get some rainbow burns off. That Thornton all oh, yeah it is. Better believe it's Thornton, dude. I literally I literally could be playing against anything right now. Which is exciting. DTE or double colors. I, I keep thinking I mean I keep my own stuff up. We got the rebirth. They got presser. I guess we'll kind of be able to see what they get thored into. Right now it's nothing. There's a mana fee. Okay. Poke stop. Ooh, look at you go. Ultra ball. Discards egg. Okay. Yo, this looks like it's about to be a fun match. Galarian Articuno. Okay. That comes down. Acro. I don't care about this, right? Yeah, I don't care about that. Compressor. Let's do a Pokemon. Are you going to discard there, buddy? Woo! Nagadil Guzzlord. Let's go! Alrighty. They can go for the Chaotic Order. Is the other Ho oh better in this deck? Hmm. Reconstitute, discard two, draw one. Another egg. Okay. Quick ball with the egg. Didini. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get quick ball away this. Uh, does void turn matter? Do you heal? Okay, so we want to go for the void return. Doesn't matter. I want them to poke a stop next turn. So that's why I did that. Okay. Okay. Quick ball with the egg. It's pretty good. Reconstitute. Okay. My plan is, of course, just try to end them late. Game. So V to get the cuckoo for Thornton or okay, yep, there's Thornton. Okay. So what do they get out here? Mm -hmm. Marsh Shadow, okay, fair enough. So is it a Marsh Shadow swing for the knockout? Interesting. Okay. We need a battle compressor. We got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're probably losing the V the VSC on top of the deck. We'll do Gengar. This is a double colors, okay. And we'll swing. So we got enough four. There's Compressor. There's Ultra Ball. So we can, if ends in the deck, we can end them to two next turn. They're out. One via seeker. So there we go. We got the egg. We got the reconstitute as well. Okay. 
Could they go for an Evital? Maybe they need like a double colors plus sort and play. So they get the heads and the hello. So they did play both of these. Oh, this makes your turn ends though. So that's why. Okay, that's fair enough. So you get the three energies. Compressor. Okay. Das Machine, discard two to get a VF Seeker. Or distort in itself, yeah, that's fine. So they could go for Marsh out of here. Yep. Now, I guess they go for... Hmm, I guess it doesn't matter, Jet Pierce. Yeah, because they have a weakness. We might lose the weakness. I mean, we're going to end the two and cross our fingers. That's all we can do. Oh, it's not in here. No. Okay. Wow. We prized it. They only have three, though. But they know. Okay, VS Seeker is definitely in their hand. We saw them grab it. So, hmm. and we have knockout for sure. Man, we prized our thing. I mean, they might have it. Oh, we'll see. We got damage from two, so we do like maximum damage, blah, blah, blah. But we might lose the Marsh Shadow, bro. Let's spread the love. Do they have it or they don't have it? We know they have one VS Seeker in hand. They have one in the discard pile. Bro, no! I mean, they have a disc. I don't know why they flipped. Man, no, they didn't. Oh, man, that flip actually. Yeah, they had to have to flip and go for the Jet Pierce. Man, dude. So unfortunate. Is their biggest Zacker? Oh, it wasn't their biggest attacker, was it? It was, uh, Marsh Shadow. Man, we're playing against Fighting Weakness. That's unfair. Alright, so we need Death Sparse. So I think if you play this deck, I'm going to show you some changes I would make to it, if I was y'all. Um, Open the list back up, whatever. I think you cut the, instead of, you cut both the boss orders. You play Guzma instead of boss order, or you play boss order? I don't know. That's a question you have to ask yourself. I always like Guzma more. But we'll go with Boss Order. We'll go with Boss Order. We'll go with the original idea of Boss Order. So you go Boss Order. You go Ranger. And that Ranger protects you from effects. So like Shadow Rider V. And then you obviously need um, a Dunsparce. And you could cut the Energy to play like one Dunsparce. Or you could cut the Marnie. I think you're cooking now. I think you're cooking, man. I think it's still fine. I think it's fine. You can probably cut like a DTE for like another energy if you want to. Or for another splitter card. Could be a thing you can do. But yeah, I think it's probably a little bit up, 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 updated better because you know you have the dust bars. You have the ranger to counter uh, all your V Pokemon stuff. So. Like I said, you can maybe cut a, a special energy for another supporter card, like another end if you want to. Like play two in. That could be fine. Uh, but I think the one is probably fine. Because, like, most of the time you're the aggressor. We just got kind of lucky and played against a Marsh Shadow. And they kind of just, like, donked us. So, like, if they didn't play Marsh Shadow, we probably would have won. So. Because then we had to take a knockout and blah, blah, blah. All the kind of fun stuff. So. 
Oh, well, what happens? Marshadow came up. Like, we played against the one Marshadow probably on the tournament ladder, right? What else are you playing Marshadow for, right? Uh, I don't know. So, Dunsparce could save us next time, so. Oh, well, guys, so we do a video. I think this deck is probably still, like, really fun. It could be broken. So, I like, test it some more. Um, have fun with it, guys. So, I hope we do a video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.